Hi everybody, I'm Melissa. Welcome back to cloudmom.com. I am bathing my baby Bracy in an infant bathtub and I wanted to walk you guys through how to do this as quickly and as easily as possible. When your baby's first born, when they're a newborn, you can just do a sponge bath. When they get a bit older, an infant bathtub is a really convenient way to introduce them to a little bit of water, but in a very safe way, because bathtubs tend to be way too big and too slippery for your baby at this age. One thing I do is to put a towel into the bathtub, and this makes Bracy a little more comfortable, and I think it's softer on his back. And I actually don't fill my bathtub too much. I just use it to sort of collect the water, and I still do more of a sponge bath kind of thing. But if you want to, you can also fill your bathtub with warm water. So anyway, here's Bracy. I keep his diaper on as long as possible to prevent being peed on. And here I am, I'm gonna take off his diaper and I'm gonna start his bath. What I have over here are a bowl with some warm water and I have some cups of warm water and I have a cup of warm soapy water and this is what I'm gonna to use to bathe my baby and then I have a towel ready to go for when Bracey's done and clean, okay? So I'm taking off my diaper and I'm gonna begin bathing and washing my baby. I wanna just carefully go between all the folds. I'm sudsing him up. I am just using my fingers and I'm trying to talk to him and have a fun time and get him used to the idea of getting wet and liking the water. I try to go between his toes, try to go between all the folds of his private parts and I do his feet. Da, 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 da. I pay special attention to the neck area where milk and formula can get caught when your baby eats. Try to make sure your baby loosens up and lets you go you know, through all their fingers, because sometimes they can tense up their hands. Underneath the armpits, here I go, the other hand. And I'm gonna really sort of stay away from the face area still. Um, so there I go, the whole front is done, and now I can rinse the front. I have my cups of warm water, and I have a bowl of warm water, and that avoids um, taking the risk that water coming from the tap will get too hot for my baby. So now I rinse them off, there I go. Hi, how's that water? Is it nice? I'm rinsing off his whole front now with the bath. And he really likes it. And I think your baby will come to like it too. So his front is rinsed and he's pretty clean. And now I'm gonna take care of his back. Now this is a little trickier when you're dealing with an infant bathtub. There are a couple ways to go about this. One, you can kind of slide your hand underneath and try to do as well as you can and then rinse him. Or you can lift him up a bit. I actually tend to prefer to lift him up a bit and I just try to support him like this with my hand. So I go like this, now I'm getting his back and I get the back of his neck and I go down there and I try to get his private parts. So I've done the back and I'm gonna rinse him now, the back, like that. And then when it comes to getting the back side of him, I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna pick him up a little bit and I'm gonna clean him really, really good because we don't wanna be dirty. No, we wanna be really, really clean. So here I go. And now I rinse some more. There we go, Gracie. And the only thing I've left to do now is the head and the face. When it comes to the face, I still don't put on a lot of soap. I just rinse with some warm water, which is what my doctor recommended. And when it comes to the head, I lather him up and then I rinse backwards so that he doesn't get any water on his face or in his eyes. So there's his head. And I can get a little more neck action there going. And now I'm going to rinse that part. So here we go. Rinse backwards away from the face and try to put your hand you know, on your baby's forehead like this to prevent the water from going down into their eyes and face because that they will not enjoy. There we go. That's the back part. And you can sort of run your finger along the back of their neck to make sure that there's no extra soap. There we go. Good job, Gracie. So clean. When you're done, if you have a little bit of water left, you just run it over your baby, make sure they're extra special rinsed off, and that's it. You'll get so good at this, you'll start doing your baby's bath in just a few minutes, and it will become a fun part of their daily routine. I'm sorry, Bracey. Did I get a little water in your face? I'm so sorry. So now it's time to dry Bracey off, and what I do with that is I take a big towel like this, 
I put the towel like this right onto my shoulder. I lift Bracy up right onto my shoulder with two hands like this, nice and cozy. And then I just cover him with the towel. I get him all cozy and that's what I'll use to dry him off. I dry him off on the changing table, sometimes on my bed. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching cloudmom.com. I hope this will help you to give your baby a bath and I will see you back soon for more how-to videos.